Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you some things that happened to me regarding Our Lady and the wonders of the sun, which occurred more than 30 years ago. As far as I know, there are no other witnesses. At the time, I lived in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but on August the 1st, 1988, the sun came very close to being directly over our house at around one o'clock in the afternoon. Normally on August the 1st in Toronto, the angle of the, of the sun should be about 64 degrees from the horizon. But on this day, it appeared to be almost directly over our house. On August the 6th, it appeared generally smaller, I wrote in my diary, than the past few weeks. Very small when I look at it. It seemed farther away than it did the past few weeks, but still very close. It moved directly over our vegetable garden when I walked over there. The following year, on May the 22nd, 1989, the sun was already very high, very high up in the sky. On June the 3rd, I sensed Our Lady's presence, glorious and golden, as the sun appeared wondrous, dancingly in the sky like it had a mind of its own. It moved with me and appeared so brilliant on that morning. It was like it was moving towards us and upwards, coming over our, our house like a comet or nova. On June the 18th, the sun was almost directly overhead. On June the 21st, the sun should be at an altitude of about 69.78 degrees in Toronto, but on this day, it appeared almost directly overhead. The following year, on May the 31st, 1990, the sun was exceptionally bright and had been so for several days, sparkling with rays issuing from it. And it spun and rolled playishly as I moved. When it shone, it did so in a playful manner, like it was playfully dancing. I didn't look at it. It's just the way it seemed as I walked or rode in a car, for example. I also sensed Our Lady's presence often sometimes speaking interiorly and prophetically in me. The following year, on April the 28th, 1991, I sensed Our Lady again and feelings of ecstasy and joy as the sun came out. On May the 11th, the sun was already very high up in the sky at noon, like it was summer. It was like that the previous year too and had been like that for several weeks. I wrote in my diary that by the time June 21st comes around, you would almost have expected it to have crossed directly overhead and moved beyond to the north. I recall that on the previous year, it had stayed like this for a long time. On May the 23rd of that year, the sun was like the end of a sparkler that one lights on Queen Victoria Day here in Canada. The sun's rays were penetrating me and causing ecstasy within me. And then it became like Our Lady's rays which emanate from her hands and penetrating me. On May the 31st, the sun around noontime seemed to be at about the same position as it had for the last four or five weeks or so, about six degrees from being directly overhead. On May the 31st, the sun's angle should be about 68 degrees from the, her the horizon. I believe the Lord allowed me to experience these wondrous events of the sun so that I could tell others about them and to make unbelievers convert and believe in him. He also sent Our Lady to be with us and to show us the way to Jesus. She wants us to pray more, to pray for world peace, for those suffering in the world, for the conversion of sinners, the souls in purgatory, and for all of our needs. Let us also pray for each other and thank God every day for sending Jesus to suffer and die for us so that we may be with him forever in heaven. Thank you so much for listening and I invite you to view another video and to subscribe to my channel.